Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Your Play Online. Uh, my name is Marla, and today we are going to be making some puffer fish out of paper plates. And we are also going to make just a regular fish. And then, my favorite, we're going to make jellyfish. So very simple. So I'm going to go through what items you will need. So, you're going to need some toothpicks. Mine are very long, so for me it was easier for me to either break them in half so that you had two halves, or you can take scissors and you can cut them in half. Um, if you have a little bit of shorter toothpicks, then you won't have to cut them in half. Okay, so the main thing you will need is paper plates. They can be any kind of paper plate, any kind of color, because we're going to paint them. And you can paint them any color. For my puffer fish, I chose to paint him orange. For my regular fish, I chose a blue. And for my jellyfish, I took the pink and the blue, and I mixed them together. And then I got some puffy paint to decorate with and some glitter to decorate with. You're also going to need glue. So you can glue on your googly eyes and your toothpicks and your streamers for the jellyfish tentacles. And then you're also going to need black construction paper so that you can cut out the mouth of our puffer fish. And a bag of googly eyes of any size that you want. Um, and then for your paint, you're going to want some paint brushes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump in and get started. So the very first thing we are going to do is take this plate and we're going to cut it directly in half. And this is for our jellyfish. So we're just going to take our scissors and cut right down the middle. All right, so you should have two halves of your paper plate. And you can take one half and you can set it to the side because you can either make yourself another jellyfish with this half or you can use it. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a dab of my blue and I'm just kinda gonna, just a little bit on the plate and then take my paintbrush and just start painting it. And you're going to paint wherever you want the blue. If you want your jellyfish to be one color, you can just use blue. Just use whatever color you have, your favorite color. You may want to use red or anything you would like. All right, so I'm going to need a little bit more blue. Because you definitely don't want to see the designs or that are here on the side of the plate. And you don't want to see like the white. So I'm also going to paint the side. And see how this part we're going to paint here too. You want to paint as much. You want to paint the entire plate. Excuse me. It's okay if the designs come through because that can make your jellyfish or your fish a little bit more unique. But that's up to you if you want them to shed through. So just take your time painting it because it is going to take it a little while to dry. All right, so I've decided, once you've got, I've decided I just want to paint half of my plate blue, and I'm going to paint my other half a pink. But if you want to go ahead and paint yours an entire color, that is totally fine. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my pink. I'm going to just put a little bit on there and use a different paintbrush and just start painting. 
or you want pink. And for this one, it's really fun if you let your colors mix because it makes them rainbowy and unique because jellyfish are not alike and they're fun and colorful. So see how I'm making sure to come up the sides right here and then up here on the, like the rim of the plate or the edge of it. Turn them around. And you may get a little messy, but it's okay because you can wash your hands off when you get done. Mm -hmm. See how I'm like kind of once I get everything painted, it's okay to like mix the colors. I'm like, I drag them. So it almost like makes, and it kind of made a purple, which is really pretty. And so if you start with a thin layer of paint, it'll dry quicker. So therefore you can do the rest of your decorating. So now we have our half a plate painted and this is for our jellyfish. So we are going to set him to the side so that he can dry. We want him as dry as he can be before we um, put the decorations and the glitter and the googly eyes on. So the next one I'm going to work on is our regular fish, which is this one. So I chose blue. Again, you can choose whatever color you want. And for this one, again, you're not going to cut this plate in, whole, in half but you need the whole plate. And so again, we're just going to take our paint and it's easiest to just put some on the plate and take your paintbrush and you're going to paint the whole plate. And again, with this one, if you want to make this one multicolored like I did the jellyfish, you can. Um, I just chose to make this one a solid color. And if you don't have paint, you can use markers and color your paper plate. So it's just kind of, you know, up to you. It's your jellyfish, your fish, and your puffer fish. So you can make them look however you want. And so we're just going to paint the whole plate. Here, let's see. I'm going to touch all down so you can kind of see where I'm painting. And don't forget to get your edges of the plate. May need a little bit more paint for that. And that's okay. Just put a little bit more if you need a little bit more. And just paint. And if you decide that you need more paint and you want more paint so that everything gets covered. You can use more paint. You can use less paint. The more you make it how you want it to be, the more unique it is. And that is one thing about fish under the sea. No two fish are alike. Some of them have little fins like Nemo. All right, and just, you know, make sure everything's painted. All right, so everyone got their paint planted?
So, it's just fully painted. And again, we're going to set this one to the side to dry as well, and we're going to paint the plate for our puffer fish. So remember, this is what our puffer fish looks like. Because when puffer fish get scared, they puff up, and they have little spikes that come out. So that whatever scared them says, oh, and backs off and goes away. So that's what we use our toothpicks for to make the little spikes. So I'm going to use another whole plate again. And this time I'm going to use orange. And again, I'm just going to squirt some paint on my plate, just like that. And use a different paintbrush specifically for the orange and paint the plate. Touch all down so you can see. See, we're just going to paint the plate. And sometimes when the white comes through, it can look kind of yellow if you're using orange. And that's why you may want to you know, do more than one coat of paint. Make sure you paint your sides and your edges. And if you can find a paper plate that doesn't have a design on it, that'll be help you be easier where you don't have to cover up your design. But I was not able to find a paper plate that did not have a design on it. So we're just going to paint over the design that's on our plate. And just continue to paint. Making sure you're getting all your edges. And you may get a little paint on yourself. So have napkins or paper towels or wipes next to you. So you can clean up if you accidentally get some on something. So we're just going to continue to paint the whole plate, every edge. And I'm going to go over the center again. I'm just kind of, I like to get all the streaks out. You don't have to. That can make him look more unique if you want him to have the little streaks. But I like to get them out. Alright, almost done with this plate. Get them all painted. Alright, now my orange is all painted and you can see a little bit of the design. But I kind of like that you can see the design because it makes it unique and it makes it look cool. Alright, so see, a little bit of paint, messy fingers, that's okay. All right, now we're gonna set this one aside to dry and we're gonna grab our half plate or our jellyfish because he should be mostly dry by now. So, set our orange aside and grab our half. All right, so this is our jellyfish again. And so I use streamers to make the tentacles. If you can't find streamers, you can use just regular string or whatever, yarn maybe, if you have that. Um, I also used puffy paint. It's like paint that's 3D and it kind of stands up from the plate itself. And I put designs on there and then I put my glitter on top of the designs. So the designs are glittery and then there's extra glitter kind of on it. So, what I'm going to do is I have this plate that has glitter in it. Because glitter gets everywhere and can be a little messy. So I like, I'll tilt you down again. I like to set this plate underneath so that when I pour my glitter on there, it stays in here and it's easier to clean up. All right. So you can take your puffy paint, just take your lid off, 
and you can draw whatever you want on your jellyfish. You can do polka dots, swirls. So let's see. I'm going to do, what if I did? A fun little swirl. See my swirl? And then I'll do another swirl. Oops. Another swirl. Maybe another one, a little smaller. Swirls, then maybe some squiggly lines. And then maybe some polka dots. Again, you can really do just kind of whatever you want to do. He's your jellyfish. She, he, it is your jellyfish. Let's see. Now, I'm going to take my glitter and I'm going to just sprinkle it onto the purple puffy paint that I use. And again, you can use whatever color you want. I just really like pink and purple. Sometimes the glitter gets stuck, so you kind of have to shake it out. And you're going to try and cover all your design that you made with the puffy paint. All right. Now, set aside and make sure you put your lid back on your paint so that if you accidentally knock it over, you don't spill it. That could have been a messy mess. All right. So now I'm kind of just going to pick it up and like shake the glitter and keep it on this plate. And so see, all my designs are nice and glittery. And then you can set this plate aside, unless you can put glitter on your other fish too, if you want to. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use some regular Elmer's glue. You can use a glue stick or a hot glue, but Elmer's glue is what I have today. And then I'm gonna use some googly eyes. So I found this bag that has all different sizes of googly eyes. So it's got some big googly eyes, and some little googly eyes and some medium googly eyes. So I think for my jellyfish, I'm going to use some medium, medium googly eyes. So I'm going to use this size. Okay. And tilt you down once again, just so you can see. All right. So then I'm going to take my Elmer's glue and I'm going to make sure it's open. And I'm just going to put it on the back of the googly eye and then put it on my paper plate Oops. and just kind of hold it there for a little bit. It helps if you lay it down and just kind of press. All right. There's one googly eye. I'm going to do the same thing to this one, a little bit of glue, and press them on there. And don't worry, this glue will dry. When it's dry, it turns clear, so it won't stay white, so you won't see it around the eyes if it accidentally, if you put too much or something. All right, so now I have two googly eyes on my jellyfish. All right, I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna lay him upside down, okay? And while he is upside down, I'm gonna take my streamers and I have three different color streamers. I have blue, purple, and I just mm. dropped the pink. There we go, and pink. All right, so you can make them whatever length you want, you can use whatever color you want, and you can use however many you want. For my jellyfish, I found that it worked best to do six tentacles. So that was two pink tentacles, two purple, and two blue. So I'm just going to, we're going to start with my pink. I'm going to roll it out. 
however long I want it. Take my scissors and just cut it off. So now I have a long tentacle and I'm just going to kind of fold them up and send them to the side. And I'm going to roll out another tentacle, cut it. Again, just kind of fold it up, set to the side. All right, so now I have my two pink tentacles. I'm done with my pink streamer, so I'm going to set it to the side. All right. Now we're going to go for our purple streamer. I'm going to roll it out, and I'm just going to cut it. So there's your purple streamer. And again, I'm going to fold it up, just set it to the side. One more purple streamer. Okay. This side. All right, now I'm done with my purple streamer. And now I'm going to do two blue tentacles. I'm going to pull it out, cut it. There's the blue. And then one more. Cut it. All right, now we have all our tentacles ready. So if you can see, on this jellyfish, I kind of did a pattern. So I went purple, pink, blue. Purple, pink, blue. So you can do a pattern if you want to. You can put them in a random order, or you can put them all together. So I think for this jellyfish, I'm gonna do my two blues, my two purples, and my two pinks. So I'm gonna take my glue, and I'm just going to make a line across the bottom of the plate with the glue. Can you see that? Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to find this end and I'm just going to place it on the glue. I'm just going to get it where you want it. Okay. I'm going to take my next one, take the end, and set it on the glue. And it's okay if they overlap a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take my purple, take the end, and set it in the glue. And this gets a little sticky. And again, it's okay if they overlap. All right, take my purple again, take the end, and set it in the glue. And you're gonna do this all the way across the bottom of your plate so that your jellyfish has all of his tentacles. Take the pink, set it in the glue. Okay, one more pink, set it in the glue. All right, so now you have your jellyfish. So let's see, I set you up. And there he is. He has his lovely tentacles, all his decorations, and his googly eyes. Right, so now you're done with your jellyfish. You can go hang him up. You can go give him as a gift to someone. But for now, I'm going to set him to the side. And I'm going to get ready to make just my regular fish. All right, so for my regular fish, let me move this jellyfish over here. Okay. All right. So for this regular fish, I didn't really put any decorations on him. Um, I did some googly eyes. And as you can see, I just cut a triangle in the plate and made his fin. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So with your plate, you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a line almost to the middle of the plate. Okay, so see how my line is almost in the middle of the plate? All right, you're going to go over just a little bit. You're making a triangle and cut to the middle of the plate. Cut directly to that line that you cut out uh, previously. And so now you have this triangle and this makes his mouth, okay? So now with this triangle, you're gonna turn your fish over 
okay? And you're going to glue him, his bin, to the back of the plate. You can also tape it if you have tape. So I'm going to tilt you down again. I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to put it right here. There's a lot of glue. So it's just right there. Kind of looks like a piece of pizza or a piece of pie. And see, so here's the center of his mouth, and you're just going to pull it and you want it right there. It's okay, a little glue comes out. You can maybe kind of slide around. You're just going to kind of hold in there. Let it kind of dry. All right. Oops. A little too much glue. That's okay. All right, so then you're going to flip it over. And for this one, I'm going to use the big googly eyes. Okay, so again, just like with my jellyfish, I'm going to take a little bit of glue and put it on the back of the eye. See that? And then I'm going to put it above the mouth. I'm going to hold it there. And kind of let him dry. All right, I'm going to take my other eye. I'm going to put the glue on the back and put him right next to it. And just hold him. Right. And there you have your regular fish. And you can decorate them just like we decorated the jellyfish. You can use glitter. You can use markers, other colored paint, you can use whatever you want. So I'm going to set him to the side, just like we set our other jellyfish to the side. All right, and last but not least, we're going to make our puffer fish. All right, so he obviously takes a little bit more time because he has each and every little um, spike or point. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my orange plate that I painted earlier. And then I'm going to take my black construction paper and I'm going to cut out his mouth. Okay, and you're going to give him a big smiley face. He's a happy puffer fish. All right. So here's his mouth. And I'm just going to take some glue. Just kind of put it on the back. Just like that. And I'm going to glue it right in the middle of my plate. Okay? Just like that. Now he has a mouth. All right. So I think for my puffer fish, I'm going to use the big googly eyes again. But you can use whatever size googly eye you want. All right. So remember, we're going to take our glue and we're just going to put it on the back of our eye. And then put it and hold it down. All right, and the same with this googly eye. Take it, glue on the back, and hold it down. All right, so now you should have a cute little happy face. All right. So what we're going to do now is what I found easiest was to take your glue and do a full circle around your plate and then go around the circle putting your toothpicks. So I'm going to take my glue and just like the plate's a circle, I'm going to make a big circle all the way whoops, around the plate. Okay? And then you want to take your toothpick with the pointy end facing away from the smile and you're just going to press them in the glue. And you're going to do this all the way around your plate. Just putting it in the glue. And it may take a while for the glue to dry so it may look kind of weird having the white glue on your plate, 
but that's okay because when it dries, it's going to dry clear. So you're just going to go around putting all your toothpicks. And I have, again, had already cut mine in half or um, tore them in half because I got really big toothpicks for some reason. And so it worked better and they fit better on the plate if I tore them in half. So we're going to go all the way around. Putting all your toothpicks. You see how they're all the way around? You can put as many as you want all the way around. Okay. All right. Once you finish putting them all the way around on the inside of the plate, now we're going to make another circle with our glue around the edge of our plate. See how this one has the spikes on the inside and on the edge. So we're going to take our glue again. We're going to go all the way around the edge in a circle just like we did on the inside of the plate. And again, we're just gonna take our toothpicks, that have been cut in half, and you're just gonna go all the way around the edge. And you're setting them in the glue, and this is gonna glue them down. If you want to put a lot of toothpicks, you can make them extra spiky. Or you can put just a few toothpicks and you don't have to be too spiky. I'm just going to continue all the way around the plate. And just keep putting them around the plate. This takes a lot of toothpicks. Okay. Almost done. Few more. Let's see. They run out, and I may have to <laughs> cut a few more in half. That's okay. All right. Yep. This is my last one. And I didn't quite make it around the plate. So I'm going to take some of my other toothpicks. Break them in half. Just Let's see, one more toothpick. All right. And now. He's got his spikes all the way around him. But you gotta let it dry, of course, but it'll dry clear. And when it dries clear, 
to look like this. All right. So today we learned how to make a puffer fish, a regular fish, and a jellyfish, all out of paper plates. So thank y'all so much for joining me, and I hope you come back and see us later, and I hope to see y'all again. All right, bye everyone.